Hello folks, the purpose of this video is to help you convert your two-way Dometic fridge to be powered by your inverter and at the same time convert all of the non-inverter AC plugs in your Flying Cloud to dual plugs that could be used when your inverter is on or when you're connected to shore power. The key is this plug, the plug on a 25 foot FB flying cloud that is located next to the bed. That is the plug that begins the circuit that will power all of your AC plugs, non-inverter plugs, and at the very end of it, terminate with the Dometic fridge. So if you convert this plug to the inverter circuit, you will in turn power all of your AC plugs using the inverter and have the option of powering your Dometic fridge from the inverter as well. So this is a video to show you how the rewire is done. Let me lift up the bed so we can get a peek. So here's the plug. This plug was changed out for a standard household outlet, single gang. The RV outlets are much smaller, so unfortunately you'll have to cut a slightly bigger hole in the panel, which is not that difficult to do. The plug had two wires coming in. Both were sheathed and were the typical 12 gauge AC wires. One was coming from the AC panel and the other one was going to the rest of the circuit, to the next, I think, AC outlet in line. So the way the conversion takes place, uh, uh, it needs to be done. And I will show you a uh, uh, my uh, little drawing um, but I'll explain it first here. You take the AC wires that are coming from the AC panel. You send them down this metal sheathing that I installed and drill the hole into the underbed compartment. This, these two wires will terminate at the AC load side of this ProWatt, Xantrix ProWatt transfer switch. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. The wires will then come out on the other side, go right back up the metal sheathing and into the plug, and then we'll continue to the uh, rest of the circuit. So that's the kind of the rough outline. Just a note about what this transfer switch is. If you have an inverter, you will have a transfer switch that is either built into the inverter or with the Xantrex model, you have to buy it externally. Um, this is needed for all inverters. And what this transfer switch does is monitor for shore power. And as soon as you plug into shore power, it will just bypass your inverter circuit and will power all of the switches that this is connected to using shore power. So I have two of these. One is hidden underneath here and I installed a second one uh, to uh, make the circuit happen uh, that uh, will power the rest of the AC plugs in the Airstream, including the outside one and the fridge. So um, so you will have to buy this in addition to the one that uh, comes with the, or that you purchase with the Xantrek or you buy with the Xantrek. Now, the Xantrek has two plugs in the front. And um, so you plug in these transfer switches right into these plugs. Um, so it's quite easy to do. The transfer switches come with the uh, three prong plugs and they go right into here. Okay, so I had one already. I bought the second one and uh, made the circuit. So let me get my 
diagram that we can look at. The diagram goes something like this. Um, and hopefully you guys will be able to read it. You got from the AC panel, three wires coming in. You send them al along with, um, I think five wires in total go into the metal sheath. Um, you have the input, the AC source, and you have the output. Um, I created, I'll show you down below the way I kind of put everything together, but um, the ground is connected um, and black, white come in, black, white go out. Um, the ones that go out will then go to your plug um, connecting uh, the white and the black um, and then on the same side, the white continues to power the rest of the circuit. The black continues to power the rest of the circuit. The grounds were um, connected here in the box. And um, here um, at the uh, auto transfer switch. Okay, so B is black wire. White is uh, white wire and G is for ground wire. That's sort of what it looks like. Um, I do recommend you get an extra deep uh, single gang box because there's multiple wires in here and they do make them deep. Just uh, ask at your local uh, hardware store. Um, it'll make it much easier to wire everything up and tuck it away nicely inside. Um, and so what this allows you to do is, um, first of all, all your plugs are going to be able to be run. Uh, off of the inverter, so that's a big benefit. And now you have the option of uh, um, turning on the inverter, switching your refrigerator from LP to auto, and it will not know any difference. It will just run from your uh, battery and the in inverter circuit. Uh, the trick is you gotta remember to uh, turn it off, uh, put it back to LP, and uh, be aware of it because um, whenever you power up the inverter, if you have it in auto mode, it will automatically start to draw from the inverter. So you just have to keep it in manual LP mode until you're ready to switch it. Then, of course, switch it back to LP um, when your extra electricity is um, used up. We have uh, so much more electricity than we need during the summertime. And what we typically do with our 600 watt system that's split between the tow vehicle and the Airstream is we will check and if it's the house batteries are about 80% and which they usually are by noon, uh, we will turn on the fridge powered off the inverter circuit and by the evening it will draw down the house batteries with that 400 watts on, on the roof, probably to, well, depending on how much sun you're getting, but um, we we can go from 8, 10 to 12 hours per day, depending on how sunny it is, powering the fridge, then turn it off for the nighttime, switch it back to LP, um, and repeat the next day until uh, the winter sun comes, or we're in a shaded spot, or it's cloudy days, then we don't use it. So, um, here's an easy way for you to spill extra solar electricity and uh, save some money on uh, propane. Hope you guys um, will find this useful. If any questions, uh, post in the comments and I will try to answer them. And good luck with this installation if you decide to go this route.